I have a question for you. How much better would your life be if you woke up one morning and saw that you made $1,000 in your sleep? Well, what about if you figured out a way to make $1,000 in your sleep every single month, but for the rest of your life? That's right, even if you're sick, even if you're on vacation, no matter what you're doing, that $1,000 is hitting your bank account every single month. And just keep in mind, that's $1,000 on top of what you're already making. And look, look, this is not a myth. This is something that can 100% absolutely happen for anybody. You just gotta put the work in, and here's how. First off, the absolute best way of making passive income, especially right now, is through the internet. Specifically through social media platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. But another big thing to include in there is also blogging. Now for this case, we're gonna focus mainly on YouTube and you'll see how a similar logic can be applied to other social media platforms. And I choose YouTube because yeah, YouTube does take a ton of work, but it becomes passive because it's in the form of a video, which is extremely lucrative and extremely hands-off once you created the video. So imagine this, you make one 10 minute video that gets viewed a thousand times. Which, if you add all that time up, that adds up to several hours watched. And once you get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours on your YouTube channel, YouTube pays you ad revenue for your videos. So even if you made a YouTube video years and years ago, if it's getting consistent views and you have the subscribers and the watch hours, you can still be getting paid off of something you made years ago. And people like Graham Stefan and Nate O'Brien, they explain this all the time on their channels and they talk about how they've done videos years ago and they're still getting paid off of it. And it could be three, four years ago that they made the videos. So yeah, YouTube videos can definitely bring you income every single month. And I'm gonna go even further into it right now. So imagine you have over 100 videos on your YouTube channel and imagine a price attached to each one of those videos and then imagine adding all of those prices up and then imagine that number going into your bank account every single month. I know. The biggest thing I wanna stress here is just how important it is to actually build a following. It doesn't have to be a large following. It just has to be a group of people who are legit fans of you. You know, like your personality, the way you talk, the way you present yourself, your originality, and essentially your brand, so to speak. <sighs> Look, YouTube is just an amazing way to build a following. So is social media, so is blogging. And something that flows perfectly with building a good following is affiliate links as another form of passive income. So imagine you've built a solid following on YouTube or even a blog. Now let's say you use a product that's relevant to your YouTube channel or your blog. For example, it could be stuff like camera equipment, lighting, book recommendations. If you have a cooking channel, you might have something that you recommend for your audience. If you have a finance channel, you, you might have financial books to recommend for your audience. If your photography channel, you might have certain camera lenses to recommend to your audience. And the idea here is that your audience likes the products because they see that you're using it. For example, the camera that I'm using right now is linked down in the description. So if somebody's like, hey, I wonder what camera Reggie has. Hey Reggie, what camera do you have? Well, you can look in the description and see this is the type of camera, this is how much it costs, this is where I got it from. Stuff like that. So when they click on the link, if they actually buy something, you're gonna get a percentage of however much the product costed that they bought. And typically a very popular affiliate program is Amazon Affiliates. It's where you, put, you post Amazon links and people buy them. It's, it's real, you know, you post the link, people click on it, they buy the product and that's it. Typically this is done through Amazon. It's extremely easy to set up. But again, the thing that I want to address with this is that you have to have some kind of following in order to pull this off. It would be insanely difficult to get people to click on your link, much less purchase something from your link and they don't even follow your content. Trust me, I know. I've tried and I even had the nerve to question why nobody was buying from my link. <laughs> I had like one subscriber back then. The nerve of some people, right? And the reason I stress this so much is because with affiliate links, honestly, people don't buy from those links a lot. I mean, sure, you'll get a bunch of people clicking for curiosity to see how much it costs, but typically you're gonna see a lot of clicks before you even see one purchase. Once you've really successfully built a following, you can really do a lot and profit off of it through digital products. What are digital products? I'm talking about online courses, eBooks, checklists, 
spreadsheets even. These are examples of digital products. I'm really excited for this one because this is where the money's at. So I've done a lot of digital products on this channel where I would link down my product in the description. And every single one of them were free. They're the ones where you click on them, you type your email in, and then in your email you get the product for free. And it adds, and it has added a lot of value to a lot of you guys. So thank you for downloading it. And these were in the forms of spreadsheets and checklists. And right now I'm actually working on my first premium product, which is a financial course specifically for couples. I've teamed up with some incredible people and we're all making it happen. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I just want to share with you guys just how ridiculous the money is with courses. Imagine you have a following of 10,000 people, right? And then imagine that you sell a course for $100. Now, let's be realistic here. Let's say a solid 1% of your audience actually buys this course. Guess what? 100 people pay $100 for a course. That's $10,000 in your pocket. Straight profit. Straight profit. Oh, and, and, and don't let the course be good because then people will recommend it. Then you'll get more course sales and your entire audience and following will grow. And guess what else? This course is gonna last forever. So you make it one time, and then years down the road, people are still buying it. So that $10,000 is short term of what you can make. You could potentially make much more than that, especially if the subject matter of the course is something that can't be outdated. For example, a course on how to budget, a course on how to build a successful YouTube channel, a course on how to manage your time. These are very valuable and high demand skills that are not going anywhere anytime soon. There's always gonna be a demand for these. So people are gonna to continue to pay for these premium types of products on the chance that it helps them improve upon that skill that I just mentioned. You wanna know some crazy math behind that? If 10,000 people buy a $100 course, guess what? That's $1 million profit straight in your pocket from a course that you may have made one year ago, two years ago, five years ago. That's how lucrative and scalable this stuff is. And it's very hands-off because it's a course. <laughs> it's just a course. It doesn't require any more of your time after you've built the course, unless you just want to add more stuff to it. And no joke, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not about to downplay the amount of work that it takes to actually build a course, because it takes a lot of work now, but if you put that work in, it is very possible to make stupid money off of a course. Apply the same logic to eBooks, apply the same logic to checklists and spreadsheets. So far, all of my digital products have been free, but even to this day, I still get like stuff that I made like a year ago, I'm still getting emails saying such and such just downloaded your free content. This person, that person, and it happens like clockwork. So if this happened for free content, imagine if you build a large following and this stuff is like clockwork with paid content, then passively, you're getting money per day, per week, per month. You get what I'm saying here? This can easily add up to $1,000 a month when you add up everything else that I've been talking about in this video. And even if you look at these individually, these individually could gain you $1,000 extra per month. This isn't even including what you're making at work on your other side hustles or whatever. This is straight up your earnings that you're making from the internet passively. So once you build that solid following and you see that people start to fall in love with you, they start to become fans of you, they ask you questions, they look to you for directions, they look to you as like an authority figure in whatever field it is that you're doing your videos on, or your blog on. The next thing you know, they become like your customers, people who come to you, people who need you for advice, for value. These people will fall in love with you for consistently adding value to them on a daily basis. And you'll see firsthand how that can drastically change your monetary future. Something similar to the affiliate links that I mentioned earlier. I'm not going to lie to you. You can make a lot of passive income through apps. For example, anytime that I mention an app in my video that's actually relevant to my video, that's when I link it down in the description. And a good example would be my video on the best budgeting apps for iPhone and Androids. So in that video, I specifically put like three or four different apps in the description. And some of those apps contain incentives for referring people. And of those apps, I've made the most money from Capital App doing my referral link on that. And nine times out of 10, it's a win-win because the other person gets a benefit too. For one, they just downloaded a valuable app for free that can change their financial future. And with Capital, I get $5 for referring you, you get $5 for clicking my referral code. 
if you don't do that, you get zero, which, you know, is still fine. It's still a great app, but wouldn't you want to get a free $5? That's kind of the idea behind it. Both of you get $5. So it's beneficial on both sides. That's, that's just how it works. You know what I'm saying? I really hope you guys are starting to see the theme here. This video isn't just about making money in your sleep or making passive income. It's about adding as much value to as many people as possible. And if you do this consistently, you will inevitably attract more money into your life. Lastly, we have online subscriptions and I have two examples for this. For one, we have Patreon and two, we have your own online services that you made yourself, that you made on your own website. For those of you who aren't familiar with Patreon, it's an online subscription service that is specifically tied to YouTube. So let's say that you subscribe to someone like me on YouTube, that's free. But now imagine a more transparent, unfiltered version of your favorite channel that adds a lot more value to you and makes things more crystal clear for you for things that you need help on. Literally consisting of information that just watching one video on Patreon could save you years and years of frustration. That's the content that would go on Patreon. It generally will be between one and $10 per month. And just keep in mind, regular YouTube subscribers are not gonna be able to see this. Only Patreon supporters are gonna be able to see this because they're technically paying you every month for this content. Now for this next example, we have your own online subscription service that you made on your own website. These are profitable for two reasons. One, because they generally come with an exclusive Facebook group full of nothing but like-minded people who have the same goals, the same ambition, and wanna see each other and help each other succeed. Anybody would pay for that. Literally anybody would pay for that because it's so hard to come by like-minded people nowadays. And two, because they help people on a daily basis. And here's my example. Imagine a YouTuber or a blogger who has obviously proven that they're really good in the business world. Let's say we're talking about a female here and let's say that she's featured on Forbes, Business Insider, all of that. And let's say her audience and following are full of people who are aspiring business owners. So she launches an online subscription service to do just that. And this subscription service consists of a bunch of spreadsheets and checklists that have step-by-step action items for them to get started with their business. But it also includes a ton, like hundreds of videos that have nothing but step-by-step -step instructions on how to do certain processes within a business, especially if you're getting started, ways to automate your business, stuff to get other people to work for you, how to build a bigger clientele, stuff like that. It might even consist of interviews with really successful people. I'm talking CEOs and all, all kinds of people who are in the business world who are just killing it. That's only going to be seen if you pay for this monthly subscription of $30 per month. I'm talking just imagine something that's full of nothing but perspective from tons of successful business people that happen to be this woman's business partner. And the low price of $30 a month to get all of that stuff is just ridiculously low. But included with all of that, you also get one free coaching call per month to go over where your business is, where it's going and how you can improve what you're already doing from the person who's been featured on Forbes and on Business Insider and who has just been killing it. What more could you ask for? Does that not sound valuable to you? I would pay $30 for that easily. Now, that's just a really well thought out example, but I'm telling you, these things really do exist. But to be completely honest, this one of having an online subscription service, it's far less passive than the other examples in this video because it does it does require some of your time. I mean, it's a monthly subscription service. People are paying for this every month. You're constantly getting new subscribers within your subscription service. So you, you always have to keep updating your content because eventually those hundreds of videos are gonna be watched by everybody who's all up in there. So you keep updating it. You keep updating it, you keep it up to date. Some of the business practices within the first portion of it are gonna be outdated a few years from now. So now you have to, okay, how can I update it to fit today? How can I update this for a pandemic? How can I update this to better fit a younger audience, an older audience, whatever the case is? There has to be constant updates with this types of stuff. So we'll say this one is semi-passive because you do have to put a considerable amount of your time into it, but you're still constantly getting that $30 per month per person and God knows how many people would actually subscribe to that. I would say a lot. 
like that's a legit business model that that's that's a free business model for you guys if any of you are interested in that anyways that's the video for today guys thank you so much for watching my name is reggie bryant this channel is all about personal growth personal finance so you can control you control your finances and control your life i wanted to really sit down and talk to you guys today about passive income because when i learned about it i was blown away and i was actually a little bit upset because i didn't learn about it sooner I didn't learn about it till after I graduated from college and I was just thinking back then that hey the mo the more you make per hour the better you are but like nah man it's how much can you make passively without even having to be there with being completely hands off